Zach and Michaela, welcome. Jose needs some friends. Johnny, don't play with us. Mirla body is bang. This is giving me Zach vibe. We saw it though, Gil. Michaela, don't play with us, Johnny. But I'll just take a damn 10 minute shower. How is Zach getting home? Johnny, are y'all actually arguing? Gil's dad was black, black. Look at sis's ass. Jose sounds like a tour guide. And over here we have this. Okay, Mirla, my lashes are gonna get done. Y'all remember when Christina didn't actually live in New Orleans? Do not expect me to chase after no grown Man. Why is the deer in your bedroom? I do not want to wait to have fun until I'm 55. I'm gonna break generational curses though. Let me go meet up with my sneaky link. How is that gonna help your relationship or have you already checked out? Hello, new apartment budget. What is this value? Y'all really gotta increase this music budget. I spend more than that on Grubhub in a month. You're selfish. I don't feel like he's gonna say yes anymore. What's nothing bad? <laughs> What up, Married at First Sight family? And welcome back to another recap with me, your girl Rizzo for Married at First Sight, season 13, episode seven, Home Not Alone. This is the episode where they actually return home. I saw a preview that we see the experts, Zach and Michaela come back. We may get to see Gil's new earring collection. Guys, I'm so excited. Okay, really quickly, true story. This was supposed to come to you on Friday because I've been pushed to get out content earlier because it will actually help my numbers and get ahead of some people because obviously my recaps are the best, but other people get ahead of me because they do this full time. But I said, you know what? Change your plans up. Make sure that you can watch on Thursday, maybe get it out on Thursday, but probably Friday. Yet here we are, guys. I decided instead, let me go meet up with my sneaky link and then I'll come home on Thursday. Oh no, but I done had other plans. She said, oh, you think you leaving? Oh, you think you gonna get back home so you can get in front of your recording equipment and your television record? Nah, sis. We gonna bring a hurricane and a tornado to your hood. So you just gonna have to sit. Cars? Oh, flooding? Oh, trains that don't work? Oh yeah, girl, just, just sit your ass. So, you know, here we are. But I'm excited. Let's get to it, y'all. I'm so excited that they actually let us hear Bao snoring, which just sounds like regular snores, sis. But y'all, we miss Brett screaming on the podcast. Maybe because she didn't scream on the plane this much that they didn't record it. But some missing footage that we need. Hello, new apartment budget. Y'all saved money with the geriatric honeymoon site and y'all used it on these houses apparently because these apartments in downtown Houston, so it looks, I have no idea actually. But these apartments are in a much nicer building. Y'all need, you know you need to thank? Y'all need to thank Chris because there's no reason why all those views and all that advertising, they probably promised that this season would do the same and it's, it's not, but. You don't believe in dishwashers? I don't believe in homes that do not have dishwashers. Y'all, I'm just like Rachel. I need about 50 11 alarms too because I'm not gonna get up after the first one. The first one is like a warning shot. The second, third, fourth, and fifth one are like, sis, you really need to get up. And the fact that I have so many, I can't count to remember what number I'm on and how many I have. And I put it on off numbers so I can't do addition that early, right? If I put on a five, I know what five and 10 minutes later is. Who knows how to count by six and seven and add nine? Like. It's a lot, so I trick myself. I learned that from my mother who hides money or hides valuables like social security cards and birth certificates in safe spaces but can't remember where she hid them. Yeah, I'm gonna break generational curses though. Y'all look at Mirla's abs. I'm gonna put the video here. Look at sis's abs. They have a terrace overlooking the city. <laughs> who increased y'all budget? Brent and Ryan are cute. I see Bao is becoming the Mirla of this episode. I was so sure before that Johnny would say yes, but I don't feel like he's gonna say yes anymore. I think Bao is not what he thought she was in the beginning. And now all the little things are adding up and he's just like, I don't have to do this. You know, and I was just about to say that Johnny is being very nitpicky on like small details. And then Bao comes in and is like, I'm not going to shower. Like this is the one thing that's a non-negotiable for you. And I'm not going to do it. Bao, just take a damn 10 minute shower. Just ranch off, hit the hot spots. Just take 10 minutes for him. What's it going to, what's it hurting you? So Johnny wants to now go home for a few days. This is giving me Zatch vibes where he doesn't come back and he doesn't even give this experiment a chance. This is day what, six, seven? You are leaving already, you need space. This is one eighth of the experiment. You're gonna take one eighth of the experiment to go get space to not know this woman further? Like, has she pissed you off that much? Do you know after one week of just getting to know someone that you don't wanna be with them? Because early on, the first two days, you were good. But these last five, six days, you're like, oh no, I'm gonna go get space. 
how is that going to help your relationship or have you already checked out in which case you just wasted this experiment oh he's conflicted great you know how to be not conflicted it's to show your wife that you don't even want to try like one how is this helping two how do you think this makes her feel this is just showing us that you're selfish right because you're thinking oh i need this for a reset for me because every little thing is bothering you well how do you think bow feels what if you lose bow and you trying to go get a reset over getting to know someone and i'm not mad at bow's response she said if that's what you want to do i'm not going to stop you do not expect me to chase after no grown-ass man if you telling me that you can't even stand to be here with me again i'm not going to beg you zach's negative wait but he's driving zach are you driving home no from the keys up through florida nah he can't be driving how is how is that getting home all right so johnny is saying he needs to get away because all he does is think about the small things that are different about them i wish you could do that reset at home i wish it didn't have to be a week or how many days this is y'all remember when christina didn't actually live in new orleans so she had no place for us to show <laughs> oh ryan you need some color in your life like a redhead no okay not parkour for the dog great. so it's, it's been a long time for wait me. ryan said i haven't lived with a significant other in 15 years this man is 35 was that a real number who did he live with in 15 years because he was about to get engaged in the last like three years or some shit. tell me more okay rachel is going to visit jose's home looks very you know like traditional homie there's a lot of tchotchkes that are unique to Jose. This is why I don't like when people move in with each other. Or if you do move in with each other, you have to allow the other person to redecorate. Like that's the, that's the only way because otherwise it will be your home that the person is moving into. Oh, that's so tough. That I'm just moving into his house. Exactly. Is fine. Jose is so excited for his purchases. For your calendar, lashes with DV starts in one hour. These are filters right here, but I'm gonna get my lashes done before this next video, yo. <laughs> okay, Marilla, my lashes are gonna get done. Back to Jose. Anyway, yo, Alexa be really interrupting my Jose needs some friends. He is so excited to just share everything in his home. He's like, look what I bought. Isn't this great? Isn't this cool? He's such an old man, but like a young guy. Jose. Jose sounds like a tour guide. And over here we have this and you'll see the 12 foot ceiling and of course recessed lighting. And we'll take a look at that in a moment. Where, where are we? Wait, I'm all up in Jose's now monthly expenses you save seven thousand a month you put seventy thousand in your 401k no no no. you do not save eighty one thousand a month what does this say stocks three thousand monthly expenses i am i'm so confused this has to be annually because doesn't hsa tax i think the match for hsa or at least fsa isn't that 1400 a year no it's i'm lying it's 20 something hundred what is this value I was like, you are not putting $1,400 in your HSA every month. Somebody, somebody help me out. What is this? I support a good savings and investing. You know, we are building generational wealth. We are preparing for retirement, <laughs> for early retirement. We are preparing to make money while we sleep. And I don't mean while working from home. But I do not want to wait to have fun until I'm 55. What about today? What about us living in these moments with these good limbs, good backs, and good knees? We, we can't do that, you telling me, until we hit this number at 55? No. Nah. Mm -mm. Look at all these crosses in the bag. Mirla, can we get an island now? We need to break up that kitchen entry, okay? Mirla body is bang. All right, now we get to see Diva Mirla. Yeah, Lee. That's not bad, guys. She buys two or three pairs, and she goes two times a year. Guys, it's not bad. I spend more on that on Grubhub in a month. It's embarrassing. Must be nice. Married at first sight. Y'all really gotta increase this music budget. These little corny songs y'all be putting on. It's all about the money, money, money. Like, y'all gotta stop. Brett is a responsible dog mom. That makes sense. You don't wanna bring another dog into another dog's territory like oh i'm coming to take over your house so I, I think it's good that they meet each other outside first brett that's so smart next they're probably in the car like get off my mom they're gonna be fine okay the dogs just when i was saying they were like each other baxter uh-oh brett 
called her high strong. He doesn't think she can relax and enjoy life. He said the kayaking, the flying, and now the dogs. Uh-oh, now he's labeling her. Oh no. A lot less color. <laughs> Wait, why'd I get my mom one of those for Christmas too? He has the deer head in his bedroom. Not in his living room, which I'm like, okay. But in your bedroom. So you wake up in the morning and it's like, good morning, deer. Why is the deer in your bedroom? You did? Yeah. I love the way they said it. She said, did you kill him? He said, yeah, yeah I did. And before y'all go in, I'm sure the AC is on with Baxter, so don't even, okay? Damn it. <laughs> she doesn't know the dog's oh. name. It's Hype. Look at that. Gil was so excited to show her that when he, she puts her hand out, that Hype knows to put his hand up. Mila's just ruined the moment. We saw it though, Gil. We appreciate the training I'm and tricks. Gil, your dog. I don't lift, so I don't do that. Oh, I that's Gil's that's dog just, kisses yeah. him on purpose? Oh. Mirla said that's gonna push the kissing back. Wait, Gil's dad was black black. He had all those black leaders. Y'all know anybody's house y'all go into. It's either gonna be the picture of the pool table with everybody, all these black leaders playing pool. And I don't know if y'all saw, they recently added Obama to it. Or you're gonna have that big like face collage of all the black leaders on it. Y'all, every black house has one. Every black house has one. I'm gonna say this every episode, but Gil be trying. I might be the more emotionally mature one in the relationship. Ooh! But- Bow said, I might be the more emotionally mature one in the relationship. Okay, how long was Johnny away? Cause I thought it was something where Johnny was away, but he was coming back to still have dinner with his wife, which I appreciated, but also which would have been weird because oh, why you need time apart? But he's back. I hear what Johnny is saying here. Still don't like that he left, but I hear what he's saying. Normally, if by date two, I would have seen this many, or I would have had this many arguments with someone, I'd have been like, no, but you are spending every second of the day with this person. Y'all are talking about everything. So you're finding small details or things that you guys do not agree with or maybe have to compromise on that you wouldn't have found out on date two because y'all are not having these big ass conversations about on these major topics on date two. But is it bad that you're having these conversations and you're finding out your differences this early? I want you to find out more similarities as well. So the differences don't overshadow the similarities, but I don't think it's bad that you know the differences now, but make sure you don't focus in on just those. Also, I'm still finding it difficult to understand. Where are these arguments? Johnny, are y'all actually arguing? Or do you guys just have a difference in opinion? Is that an argument? Am I the only one who feels this way? Johnny, I can't take these slow look up blinks from you. Johnny, you trying to smash by any means necessary? Look at horny Johnny. Johnny better not have left because he was horny and had to get his shit off. Nah, but he better not have left because he wanted Bow to realize how much she misses him. Johnny, don't play with us. Don't play with us, Johnny. Day nine, y'all. Zach and Michaela, welcome. Y'all, I can't put my arms up. I've been trapped in someone dead. else's oh, house and I didn't shave. Look. Oh, it's not that bad. <laughs> oh, look how excited Michaela was to go see. Oh, they're so cute. She got him a you didn't die gift? One week? Michaela, why are you got breeches? so sweet. Michaela. Michaela. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna stop right there. Um, we're gonna get more of Zach and Michaela. I'm so happy they can see each other. I have no idea how Zach traveled with COVID. I have no idea how it's only day nine and he's negative. But I'm happy everyone's here. Y'all, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you guys have a good Labor Day. Make sure you have a good holiday. Get out there, have fun, enjoy yourself, enjoy friends and fam, and make sure you watch my videos because that's not stopping me, okay? I'll see y'all in a couple of days. Bye, y'all.